We are out at Rottenberger Wildlife Management Area with Tyler Beck from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. He is an expert on snail kites, which is a hawk, and we're going out with him today on an airboat to see if we can find some. They are an endangered species. Rottenberger has been one of the best areas for snail kite nesting this year. It's really produced a lot, a lot of nests. Um, and it's kind of part of the success story for snail kites this year. They've had a, a pretty good year after a, not a great year last year. This area has been helped out by uh, some habitat restoration work, uh, a wildfire that we had last year, and then all the rain that we got last year have, have really supplemented the snail kite nesting in this area. Uh, but in recent years, we've had an uh, introduction of some exotic apple snails from South America, and they make up uh, a large portion of the snail kite diet now and help, help boost the recovery of, of the snail kite population. It's about the size of what a typical native apple snail would be at full size. Um, but these get much larger than this, almost baseball size. Um, this is an example of what good snail, snail kite habitat should look like. You can see we have some dense patches of vegetation. We actually have some snail kites that are hanging out in here. Uh, but we also have some nice open areas where they can find their snails with water underneath. Uh, we even have some snail eggs around here. A lot of times when you pull, pull a boat up to an area like this, they just fly off and, and run away because you know, they don't want to mess with you. But these kites are kind of hanging around, so I think they kind of might have something going on here. So this was, this is, last year was the first year that we've had them really using this area for foraging and nesting. And we had about five nests in here. Um, it's, we've had a lot more water this year. Um, droughts aren't really great for snail kite nesting. We had a pretty bad drought last year. Um, and so we went into this season uh, um, with much more water. And, and then these later rains have also helped out snail kite nesting as well.